ongoing and it doesn't look like it's going away either. So what we hear here is this debate between privacy and security on the platform. So Facebook came out with this whole kind of privacy focused vision for the company in which it said it was going to do end to end encryption across all of its messaging services. And what that means is that the only people who can see the messages mm -hmm. are the people sending and receiving them, not the company and no one else can access them. Now, the yesterday, the Justice Department, along with some officials from the UK and Australia, co-signed this open letter to Mark Zuckerberg asking them to stop that end-to-end -end encryption effort. They said it puts the government's efforts and law enforcement's attempts to protect particularly children and to fight terrorism at risk because they can't access mm -hmm. these messages. Facebook responded pretty strongly saying they oppose the government's mm -hmm. attempts. They say to build, it builds this back doors, it undermines the privacy and the security of people everywhere. And what the bigger kind of backstory to this is that there was a U.S.-U.K. agreement signed yesterday mm -hmm. that essentially uh, enables more data sharing between those two countries. And what that allows is a country like the U.K. to go directly to Facebook and request access from law enforcement to request access mm -hmm. on criminal investigations. So this all kind of comes as you know law enforcement is trying to figure out how they can get access mm -hmm. to data on these platforms. At the same time, Facebook is trying to project a message that is focused on privacy and security. Now, I know earlier on Squawk Box, you were discussing this with the guest host, Sir Martin Sorrell, and he made the point that he doesn't think Facebook gets enough credit for all the efforts they've put forward. Just really quickly, what is the analyst community thinking about Facebook here? The analyst community, very optimistic about that Threads product that you mentioned right before this. They are focused much more on the innovation coming out of mm -hmm. Facebook than the security so far, and we've seen that in general. They've kind of turn the other way on regulation. They think that Facebook will be able to pay fines, be over to overcome some of these challenges, and that they still have those billions of users, and that's keeping the stock going, at least for now. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.